up with what's going on. It's pretty dark in the garage right now. Uh, we're doing a bit of garage lighting upgrades. So, you know I have these four lights right now. It's pretty bright here in the garage. Two at the back, two at the front. And then recently I added a light there and a light there that comes on when the garage opens at night if I come home. Or if I press that button, I can get those ones on. I've got two more lights so that I can install. So I've got them here. I've plugged it into the connection up there. And that's what it looks like. And I'm kind of deciding now where to put it. I'm thinking I'm gonna put it vertically there in the middle. All right, so I've just put one of the mounting harbor pieces right in the middle of the two lights, basically. Pretty good. Then if I measure the mounting points, on this light, it's 45 inches. Yeah, fairly. I just eyeballed mine. Yeah. So I've measured it and I'm just eyeballing it, honestly. If you want to do like a super accurate job, you can uh, measure it and everything, but. Perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> How straight does it look? <laughs> That's awesome. It's perfect. It's fairly so that straight, comes yeah. On with these lights. All right, so we're gonna do the other side. Move a little bit to the left, tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, there. Forty-five inches. These ones are easy. They just clip into place. That's like the easiest. And you can be like an inch off because it can kind of move a bit. There's like an inch of play. As you guys know, these are all lights from Hycolity. Um, they sell them on Amazon and their website. But they're all two prong lights, which means you don't need a ground. It's just a simple two prong plug. I've got some extension cords already set up from the front lights to the back lights here. And this one has one remaining spot left. So I can actually open this. And that light works. Awesome. Easy. I didn't honestly think the garage could get any brighter, but it pretty much looks like a operating room in here now. <laughs> it's actually perfect though. These two lights kind of balance out this whole section here. The only thing left that I might wanna do is add a light above the workbench. Otherwise, I've got a nice light up there that basically is angled down, so if I'm uh, you know, facing inwards, then I pop the hood and I can see everything nicely with that light. We've got these two. Um, this one comes on when I open the garage door. So when I come in at night, this is the light that I get when I open the garage door. And then this is the normal lighting setup. And then I can turn this one on as well. So I can have a total of eight lights, which is just Probably overkill for this small garage and townhouse, but doing detailing work in here, filming in here, doing installs in here and whatnot, it's perfect and I love it. So basically all of the lights are connected via two prong outlets in the ceiling. So those lights are controlled with the switch. 
and there's a small adapter or plug that screws in there that lets me put a two prong outlet uh, to power all of the lights. It's quite a few wires. Um, I tried to keep them up there and tidy, but I'm not sure how I can best avoid that. Um, but otherwise, I'm pretty stoked. It looks awesome. If you guys are interested in checking out the high quality lights, they make a ton of different lights, different sizes, different mounting solutions, however you want. Um, I've mixed matched a few. You can see this one's slightly different than this one. Um, but they balance each other out quite nicely. My biggest recommendation if you're gonna pick any up is to get the diffused ones. These ones aren't diffused as you can kind of see and they give a bit of a beam pattern out. You can see there's on the wall there's like light comes out that way but the others are all diffused and they're really nice so. I'll have links in the descriptions to all the lights. You can pick them up on Amazon. They're relatively inexpensive for a pretty nice quality product I would say. And the installs are easy. It took me like half an hour to do each set of lights um, and then wiring them up and whatnot. Some are a bit easier to mount than others depending on how you want to do them. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.